I have the Fender Rumble 25 amplifier. Uh, it's a friend of mine's. And I did a video on it before. And it's been sitting here uh, where I teach, and I've been like staring at it for a while, and I was like, I wonder if there's any more I could do with this. Not that I, you know, it's not mine, but that somebody could do with this. So, let's take a look. I took the uh, front panel off, and all it is is just Velcroed on. So, really easy. There was a little tab at the bottom, and you just go, whoop, and it comes right off. The speaker itself, if I back up a bit, okay, it's tiny. It's a little 8-inch speaker. I was a little surprised, uh, but I unscrewed it, and if we take the speaker out, okay, it's nicely on little uh, doodads, I forget what you call them, that you can just pull off. But... I checked in this baffle, in the space in, in the back and everything, easily cut it for a 10-inch speaker or even a 12-inch speaker would easily fit. It'll cut into this a little bit, you know, but whatever. If you really needed, you know, the extra um, port there, you could just drill another smaller one there, whatever. Uh, but easily a 10 or 12-inch could go into here. Uh, this speaker... I measured it and it's 8 ohms, so just make sure that whatever, you know, you replace, you're keeping, you know, you're matching the um, ohms, the resistance, so that you get an 8 ohm speaker. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this speaker and hook it up through a Marshall 215 base cab, and we'll see how this uh, Rumble 25 actually sounds all, you know, cranked up with like you know, a big boy speaker kind of deal. So, hang on and we'll do that. I was actually going to, um, I'm going to make this into two videos because the more I thought about it, this first video could be just about swapping out a speaker. So, like uh, I was saying, this is the Rumble 25 and the speaker, the, the front comes off, just peels right off, the speaker four Phillips screws and boom it comes right out and it disconnects just with these they just pull right off and there are tons of options for an 8 inch 8 ohm bass speaker that you could put in so with literally nothing more than a Phillips head screwdriver for four Phillips screws you can replace the speaker. There's absolutely no other tools, no knowledge, nothing needed. Easy. So you could definitely do that with a little bit of kind of cutting ability. You could open this hole up a bit and put in a 10 inch and that gives you even more options or a 12 inch even more options. But base, you know, a 10 inch would be a nice punchy. So if you're Looking at the Fender uh, Rumble 25, keep in mind, check my other video, it sounds good, but imagine how insanely good you could get it with a speaker swap. And it's as simple as four screws. Boom. So, there you go. Now uh, I'm going to make a video where I plug this through a uh, Marshall base cap. So, watch for that.